Hello lovies, thanks again for joining me today. Welcome back to my channel. So today tutorial will be on this uh, anti-aging, anti-wrinkles day and night cream that I just did. Everything we use is natural. So you will see when you started uh, uh, apply it on your skin, especially now that it's very cold, especially in a city like Chicago or any other part of, of the world that if it is very uh, dry during the winter time and if you have a dry skin, it's... Uh, it's very challenging during the winter time so I put everything together so if you want to see how to achieve the radiant look on your face during the winter time and every time let's get started thank you for joining me today and please don't forget to subscribe and let us be a friend on Instagram I want us to be a friend so I'm gonna lay, uh, put a link on the information box and in our website and all that and I will see you guys on the next video thanks again so let's go make our anti -age. We're going for today. You're going to need a bowl for mixing, uh, a jar to transfer everything afterwards. And I'm going to use shea butter. This is Nigeria shea butter. Nothing added into it. The benefits of um, shea butter fight wrinkles and under eye bag repair the skin to natural look, give it that a glowing, smooth, radiant uh, finish. And for coconut oil, coconut oil pre pre uh, protects skin from sunburn, prevent and reduce facial wrinkles, prevent premature aging, and you can use coconut oil as a makeup remover also. And for vitamin E oil, it fights wrinkles, reverse age-related skin damage, act as a moisturizer. You can use uh, pills if you don't have the oil. You can use four pills. And for castor oil, it castor oil fights a signs of aging, moisturizes skin, fades blemishes, reduce uh, pigmentation, and reduce acne. And the aloe vera, I'm going to use the fresh one. I don't like the one they sell in the store. So I use the fresh one. And you're going to see how I do it later. Uh, aloe vera moisturize the skin, fight aging, minimize wrinkle, reduce acne, and infection, and lightening blemishes. So I'm going to apply, I'm going to put two tablespoons of shea butter. If you're oily skin, you can minimize the oil that uh, you are applying. And for coconut oil, I'm going to apply, I'm going to put two tablespoons and I'm going to put two tablespoons of uh, vitamin E oil. For cashew oil, cashew oil is very thick, it's very rich. So I'm putting half of a teaspoon. And after that, I'm just going to mix everything together. Just like that. So if you are oily skin, minimize it. But for dry skin, people like me, anything goes in my skin. And then now I'm going to apply aloe vera. So when you use fresh aloe vera, make sure that you cut the sharp edge. Be careful, it's very, very sharp. And I'm just going to cut it in the middle and I'm going to extract the juice just like that. And after that, I'm just going to mix it and I mix it together with the other ingredient. And we are done. I'm just going to mix everything together no now the next stage if you don't want you don't have to i'm always uh, apply a little bit of lavender oil if you are oily skin you can uh, put two drops of uh, orange or lemon uh, oil into it but i use lavender it's very good smooth smells so good and after that just mix it everything and then i'm just going to transfer it into the clean a jar that I'm going to store it and this you can use day and night you can even use for your hands also and this is a very smooth and I'm going to demonstrate I'm going to put a little bit on my face oh this is so good refreshing calming and everything so this is it right here and I use it for my hands also you can put a little bit if you're a nurse or you wash your hands often, this will be good for you. And this is our cream right here. I want to say thank you 
for subscribing, for watching. Love you guys. Mwah.